guys, it's Demi and hello from the first day of Festival of the Arts here at Epcot at Walt Disney World. I'm so excited to be here and to bring you guys along with me as we check out this entire festival. We are gonna check out all of the food booths. We're gonna try some stuff. We're gonna see the entertainment, see what else the festival's offering, some, and see some merchandise. We're just gonna do it all. So let's just do it. Let's go get into some hijinks. Something I love about this festival is that they are incorporating Future World. And so far, this is the first uh, photo op I've seen. This is near Mission Space, and there's more to come in Future World. As you keep making your way around Future World, you're gonna find Wyland Galleries has this awesome display to look at paintings and sculptures and just anything art you can imagine. And this is, just so you know, is across from Cool Wash, so don't miss this. This is a really cool place to come and check out um, beautiful artwork. And just across from Wyland Galleries is William Silver's. More art to look at. Look how amazing this Alice in Wonderland photo is. This is a painting, this is just beautiful. With all this construction still happening here at Walcott, <laughs> it's nice to see that they brought back all of these awesome photo op spots, these butterflies, there's gonna be more around this wall. It's super cool, a nice photo op especially, brings a little color to all this construction. This wall is super spectacular. This is drawing on inspiration. Um, the wall says that uh, showcased here are the illustrations of two Disney Imagineers who were each asked to pick classic Epcot attractions that ignited their creativity. I think that's really spectacular. These are so gorgeous. And again, making these, <laughs> these crazy walls into something super beautiful and incorporated into this festival. My dudes, something not to miss at the Festival of the Arts is the chalk art and especially this awesome 3D chalk art. Look how cool that is. Drawn only a few days ago. Wow, look at that. Look how that pops out like that. Unreal. Wow, that is unreal. This is so stunning and this is just chalk making our way towards future world west here is another photo op you can put yourself in the painting it's super beautiful this is one of the coolest spots in epcot right now for the festival this is across from the land pavilion this is the paint by numbers good morning wow I grab a brush. Ooh, i think i'm gonna pick purple and i'm gonna grab a brush it's been popular. oh i love purple it's my favorite that's going to be the completed photo? That's amazing. Oh, so got five it. five boxes of number three. Because it says three on here. So five boxes of number three. So I painted my squares. I have one, two, three, four, five. I think, oh, no, two, three, four, five. <laughs> So they give you a little slip to see what it's going to look like, but the cast member that showed us the other photos said that this is actually incorrect or his is incorrect, so I guess we'll have to wait to see. They also said this takes about two to four days for a completion. What? Oh, hey, it's nighttime. Here is what the end of night one of Paint by Numbers looks like. Here is the section that I painted. Uh, they are skipping every section and then they'll fix it, I guess, tomorrow. And uh, here's section three and section five and section seven. So we are gonna start our food journey at the deconstructed dish. This is where you can get your deconstructed Reuben, BLT, strawberry cheesecake. And what they also are offering is this Twinings deconstructed breakfast, which is uh, hot Twinings tea with uh, vanilla ice cream, maple syrup, and garnished with candied bacon and waffle crisp. Uh, oh, it's, it's serving for two, so that's something really nice to share. Uh, I'm really excited because I, it's like breakfast time for me, so I'm gonna get the deconstructed BLT. And just so you guys know where this booth is, because this booth is always the one that people miss, this is next to, across from Starbucks rather, and across from Citrus Blossom, and if you're walking from Future World, it's closer to the Imagination Pavilion, and as you keep walking, you shall find it, so. Let's go get a BLT. 
my dudes, look how cool this is. This is the deconstructed BLT. So you have your bacon, which is actually pork belly, and you have your egg, a little toast, a little like some type of sauce. And I, I don't know, it looks awesome. This does take a little bit of time because they have to make the egg it, uh, itself. So uh, just have a little patience. It doesn't take too, too long, but it takes longer than maybe a regular, another booth somewhere else. So just be patient. And I'm so excited to try this, it's so good. Oh, so I just looked, this green stuff here is called wait watercress espuma i don't know and that's a tomato jam all right so let's dig in all right so i put a little bit of everything on here so let's do it oh that is so good the pork belly is amazing um it's so good and that this like green this watercress sauce, which I still don't know what it is, is so good. It's like nice and tangy. Um, it's nothing, it's like, I can't think of anything to describe it as like something similar. I, it's just really good. I, it's very unique. Um, the egg is cooked really, really nicely. Um, they cook each egg very fresh, so it's really good. And this tomato uh, jam, also really nice. Like. I would put this with my charcuterie at home. <laughs> For those of you who know, I love charcuterie. Mm. Wow, this is great. This is my breakfast. The park just opened, and uh, so this is my breakfast. This is my stop one of the day, and uh, I am very happy with it. And uh, I, I I recommend this if you if you are coming like straight to the park and you want to eat breakfast. This is this is your breakfast spot, I think. <laughs> So we're gonna head right toward Canada into World Showcase and Citrus Blossom is still here, still rocking that orange bird sipper. And remember, if you want that orange cream shake and you don't want the sipper for $15, you can get the shake in a cup for like $4, I believe it was. Across from Citrus Blossom is Refreshment Port, serving that traditional poutine. And it looks like they added the lobster poutine. Poutine is fries with cheese and lots of fun stuff on it. And that looks awesome, that lobster poutine. Across from Refreshment Port is the Disney Artist Gallery. Oh my God. Um, I need that. Across from the Disney Art Gallery, making our way into Canada is the Masterpiece Kitchen, serving you some wild Russian mushroom risotto, salmon and cream gatto, and that vanilla rose water and pistachio panna cotta. So beautiful, so Instagrammable really nice let's keep moving into world showcase another disney art gallery as we continue along came across the first festival market booth this is in canada this is pins but i did ask the um, cast member and she said that the festival pin itself is actually inside world showplace but you could still get some pins here as well just not festival pins Still in Canada at the mill stage. This is the home of the Jammeters for this festival. They are awesome. They are so funny. Definitely check them out. They're unscheduled at the moment. So hopefully you happen to hear them drumming along as you pass by. So this is the Joffrey cart right outside World Showplace. Canada and they always offer something awesome for festivals and they are offering this latte donut pairing. It is a creative twist latte with a Twix bar donut. That sounds awesome. Here is World Showplace in between the UK and Canada. They are offering food and merchandise and entertainment so let's go in and check it all out. Okay, so walking in right away, we have some more artwork. Uh, the last few festivals, the, this location here has been merchandise, but it is now beautiful artwork. Hello. <laughs> and it's, it's really stunning. So I don't see where those pins are yet that that person was talking about, but I'm sure there'll be some merch on the opposite side. The first food booth as you walk into World Showplace is the Festival Favorites booth. This is where you can get your Remy Ratatouille and some charcuterie and a lemon blood orange tart and the Artist Palette Jumbo Cookie. 
The next booth we have is the Painter's Palette, and this is where you can get prime steak tartare, salt roasted beef tartare, and pistachio cake. Oh, so just so you know, tartare means not cooked. <laughs> so be aware, don't think you're getting a, you know, some cooked beef. It is rare beef. Here on the festival stage, you're gonna find Art Defying Gravity, which is experience the spectacle of thrilling strength acts. You'll also find on Sunday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, uh, visual art and performance, and that is watch a visiting virtual artist paint a colorful Disney character in a flash. So that sounds awesome. And then here on the smaller stage with the piano is the Epcot pianist. She's wonderful. So hopefully you get to catch that. These are unscheduled, so you just kind of have to hang around and you'll find them. Jacket. Please welcome <laughs> the World Showplace Pianist. Here is some more art that you can buy. So beautiful. Plus, over here is where you can find some festival merchandise. Oh, I love this because this is the fifth anniversary and this is so beautiful. It's hard plastic. Those bottles are so nice. Here are your pass holder exclusive merchandise. You have a Festival of the Arts ornament, uh, magnets, and phone cases. Here is the hat and shirt of the festival this year. Super, super cute. There is even a Figment Spirit jersey. And here's the front with Spaceship Earth and it says Festival of the Arts 2021. This is such a cute spirit jersey. Oh, plus here's another Festival of the Arts t-shirt. Forgot to mention the wonderful walk of colorful cuisine. It's kind of like doing the cookie stroll, but instead of cookies, it's dishes throughout World Showcase and World Showplace. And after you get all five of those, you get a complimentary cookie, but you can also just buy the cookie here at Festival Favorites. Just about to enter the UK pavilion, and here is another portrait photo op. I think I have to do this one. I love this portrait. Inside the UK pavilion, there are some more artwork that is so beautiful. I love that Sleeping Beauty portrait. That is gorgeous. Entering France here is the France booth, La Art de la Cuisine Francaise, and this is where you can get that bread bowl full of cheese. And it's probably awesome because what bread bowl full of cheese isn't? And you can also get croissant a la truffle noir de Hever. I apologize for the mispronunciation, I'm sure, but that looks awesome. And a, it looks like a chocolate lava cake and some macarons. Can't really go wrong in France. Best food in the world, in my opinion. So after France, you have this booth. This is called Vibra and Vivido. This is where you can get some chilled seafood, cocktail, blue corn papusa, and passion fruit mousse, plus a passion fruit smoothie and frozen pina colada. And I think it all looks super, super pretty. In between France and Morocco, there is more art galleries. This is the Wonderground Gallery on both sides. Super cool to look through all of this lovely, lovely artwork. I see some Haunted Mansion, some Stitch, some uh, Orange Bird. Really cool to look around. This is the Morocco booth, the Mosaic Canteen. This is part of the colorful cuisine where you can get that muscacao. I apologize for the pronunciation. And you can get Mediterranean flatbread and a, ooh, a half, uh, a, I'm sorry, a, a harissa roasted rack of lamb. That actually looks so delicious. And they have hard cider and dark amber lager. Right next to the Morocco booth is another festival shop with more artwork that you can buy, little postcards. That's super nice. 
made it over to Japan to the Goshiki kitchen. Here you can get stone, garden red bean mousse, sushi donut, and the vegetable goiza. Um, you can also get, they have, it's called pink snow. It's sake, peach schnapps, cranberry juice, and calpico dusted with snowflake confetti. Uh, the sushi donut, uh, this was here last year. It, it tastes like sushi, it's fine, it's totally good, but it is like totally super Instagrammable. Um, it's, it is just sushi, so there's nothing completely crazy about it, but it is good. Here at the America Gardens Theater in the American Adventure, there are three forms of entertainment for you. You have an animation class at 1230, 1.30. It is so cool. It's like the one that they have in Animal Kingdom. You get to draw a Disney character. It's a lot of fun. It's free. Uh, it does take up about a half hour, so just keep that in mind, but it's a lot of fun to do. Here where the, this corner of the eye is, this practice. That is the best advice that I can give you. I mean, this is a monster, but it was so much fun. You will also find Mariachi Cobra and the Voices of Liberty performing throughout the day. Adventure Pavilion, we have the funnel kickstand with their Festival of the Arts offering the red velvet funnel cake. That is super pretty. Also in the American Adventure is another gallery studio, James Coleman Studios. Also in the American Adventure is the artist's table. Here you can get your beef wellington, your pan seared scallop, and your artist palette jumbo chocolate chip cookie. Plus they have the ch sipping chocolate flight. It's non-alcoholic, and then they have the Symphony in Chocolate Flight, which is Mozart cream liqueurs paired with sipping chocolate. So there's alcohol, non-alcoholic. It sounds awesome. My dudes, look how pretty. These are the alcoholic sipping chocolates. So this is the Mozart chocolate cream liqueur. That's what's in all of these. But then in each, uh, this is the chocolate, uh, the dark chocolate sipping chocolate. One in the middle is the strawberry sipping chocolate. And the one on the left is the white chocolate sipping chocolate. I need to try this right now. Let's try the dark chocolate. Ooh, it's lots of alcohol. But it's good. I like that. It's very tasty. It's just very chocolatey. Uh, let's try strawberry. I I just had a journey because at first I was like, oh, this is in, this is interesting, and then um, and then it became medicine tasting. It it was basically like, <laughs> it tasted like Robitussin. I wasn't too into that one. Let's try the white chocolate. That's not bad. Actually, this feels like a lot lighter, a lot easier than the dark chocolate. I think this is my favorite. Like, this is very good chocolate, but um, this is like a lot lighter. Um, and uh, it's got like a nice little flavor to it. This is just, uh, it, it doesn't taste like, I don't know, it doesn't taste like regular white chocolate to me. It just has a nice flavor to it. This is just like straight up, you're drinking some alcoholic chocolate. Not that that's a problem. I'm here for it. I changed my mind. This one, the chocolate's really good in this. I think I prefer this one. I don't know. I keep going back and forth, but they're very good. Just not the strawberry one. It tasted like medicine to me. It's so pretty though, but it tasted like medicine. I also got the beef Wellington. I've actually never had real beef Wellington. I've only had like basic versions of it like basically that are it's beef with puff pastry on the side but never fully made beef wellington i dropped my knife so i'm gonna have to do this real classy way <laughs> just bite into it oh my god that's pretty good it's got a really good flavor to it and like the roast beef is pretty good it like it, it's falling kind of like right off of itself so it's not too tough 
which I appreciate. Uh, the pastry is kind of falling apart, but I think that's also because I didn't have a knife. But no, this is super good. Um, mm. Yeah, and the mushrooms on the side, and um, let me tell you a little secret. I don't normally eat mushrooms. I have like this weird mushroom phobia, but like I'm trying to work through it. <laughs> and yeah, it's like excellent, all of it together. And they give you little, little baby, little baby um, vegetables, some carrots and <coughs> looks like squash or cucumber and cauliflower. This is really good, it's a good lunch. I think I did well today, except for the medicine uh, chocolate. Well, that was not good. Also in the American Adventure, the artist Rodel Gonzalez is here painting live, right in front of everyone. And all the paint in, in the background, all those uh, portraits in the background were painted by him as well. Also in the American Adventure, you can find this awesome George Washington picture frame photo op. Also an American Adventure, so much here. The American Adventure Joffrey's cart has the latte and donut pairing, the American Adventure Color Me Latte. Those are super cute. Making my way into Italy, and we have another little art gallery here, Acme Archives. Also this super cool photo op in Italy. You have the Scream and the Mona Lisa that you can go do. That's super fun. Here is the Italy Festival booth, and here you can get that sweet sausage with fried risotto balls and ravioli with uh, vanilla saffron cream sauce with shredded chili peppers. Wow, that sounds yummy. And some bomboli, bomboloni, which is cream-filled Italian donut, raspberry sauce, powdered sugar, plus long list of wines, Prosecco. Really lovely. Look, it is a poppin' booth. This place is super cool, Enemy Inc. This is between uh, Germany and Italy, and they make the shirts right here. It's so dope. Uh, and here's what you do. You step one, you choose your design, you choose your color and size, and then you uh, get it made right here. So it's very customizable, really cool. These are the prices for each different types of shirt. A t-shirt is, oh, thank you. A <laughs> t-shirt is $30, tie-dye is $36.99, flowy is $36.99. Oh, so many different types. I really love the flannel. So I am now in Germany, and there's this really cool little shop here called Sugar Boo and Company, and they have like bags and signs, and it's all like very rustic looking. This is really a really nice shop. And right next to it is the Germany booth, the Cuisine Classique. Here you can get uh, red wine braised beef short rib, Coco Vaughn, opera cake, and the, uh, the again the artist uh, jumbo cookie plus lots of different hard cider uh, and uh, ales and fro the frozen rosé oh a play on a rosé flight that's interesting i love that the flights are back also in germany is name works where you can get your name customizable whoa look how cool these are next to name works festival market booth with some of the stuff that we saw before inside world show place we also have half to paint these are stunning absolutely beautiful canvases looks like some on wood we also have another festival market with some beautiful art here and across another beautiful beautiful gallery Greg McCullough just stunning look at that Mickey and Minnie one. I don't want to go in because there's too many people. Refreshment Outpost is back with that plant-based bratwurst. I heard great things about it from my plant-based uh, friends. They also have the warm uh, brown sugar stuffed pretzel again and of course Mr. Spike the Bee. Walking towards China we found the Pop Gallery. Oh, that is beautiful. Again a lot of people so I'm gonna skip in. Oh look! Look 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 look! They're like they're like glass uh, animal balloons, but not balloons. <laughs> Here we are in China at their booth, the Painted Panda. Let's see what they are offering this year. They have the old Shanghai Shizu two pork water chestnut meatball served with taro root and Szechuan red hot mala shrimp. Plus they have some really cool uh, drinks here. 
the Panda Bubble Tea, dra uh, the Jasmine Draft Beer is really good. I've had that before. Um, the, let's see, they have four, Fortune Cookie, which is, ooh, Pina Colada Mix. And yeah, just lots of fun things in China. Ooh, what's happening? It's moving, the barge is moving. I don't know what's happening. So if you don't know, this is the barge that's permanently going to be there uh, for the upcoming Harmonious, the new nighttime spectacular here at Epcot. I just saw it move and I thought, ooh, what's happening? We have made it to the Mexico booth, El Artista Ambriento, and uh, the picture menu is hidden back. Across from the Mexico booth is another festival shop. Such beautiful, beautiful artwork in here. This is so cool. Yes, yeah, so this is our second year here. We used to be all the way in Morocco and Japan, um, but we're here right now. Um, and we, um, we're going to be here for the whole six weeks. All right, so let's see how it looks. My dudes, we have made it to Pop Eats. This is next to the Mexican booth as you kind of go toward World Showcase, I'm um, sorry, Future World. And uh, the star of the festival, as I hear from people who have eaten here, is the tomato soup with grilled cheese. So that is what we're gonna get today. I'm super excited. I love grilled cheese and tomato soup. And here it is, it comes in like a cool little uh, can. I'm excited to try this. All right, this is pretty cool. This this is really cool that it's coming in this really cool can that you can take home and it's like got a little can top, but like does it live up to the hype that I keep hearing about? I keep hearing this is the best thing in the festival. So let's give it a go, shall we? We're gonna do a little donkey. Go do a little donkey. I don't know, there's like some cream thing on top of the uh, tomato soup, so let's see. Oh my god, this exceeded the hype. This is the best thing I've eaten in so long. Mmm. Mmm. I don't know why this is so excellent, but it, this is really excellent. You know I don't lie to you when I do these things. I don't over-exaggerate. This, this is so delicious. Um, bread is nice and toasted. The cheese that they have in here, I don't know what it is, but it's working really well. And then this tomato soup, there's like definitely some cream in here, which is what's definitely making it like extra awesome. Either cream or like maybe like some cheese or something, but it's, this is so delicious. Oh my God. This is the best thing I've eaten today. I, I, I want to like get this again, like tomorrow. I can. I'm going to be here tomorrow. I might get this again tomorrow. This is delicious. Okay. What a great dinner. Um, yeah, so, so far out of the three foods I've had today, I would I would get this one. I would still get the deconstructed BLT. That's delicious. But, like, I don't know. I didn't know a grilled cheese could be this good. Mm. And yes, this is 100% a real can, uh, and uh, I'm gonna wash this out and take this home. I'm very excited about it. Whoa, it's nighttime now. That's because I came back later in the day because I loved the grilled cheese so much, and I got the grilled cheese with bacon, and I don't even know, but it looks awesome with more tomato soup. So I wanted to <laughs> just show everybody, let's try this one. Oh my God. Mm. Oh, this one's even better. And there's like cranberry on it. Yes, that's what it is. Oh, this one's so good. Yeah, I mean the grilled cheese, plain grilled cheese one is really good. Obviously, that was like the best thing I ate today, but now this just beat it. Yes. Mm. I am so glad that I came back for this. <laughs> Across from Pop Eats is another art gallery, the art of David E. Doss. And then if we keep going, here is another Joffrey's cart. And they are offering for their festival specialty a caramel canvas latte with a snicker barred donut that looks really good 
Here at Disney Traders is where you can pick up Figment's brush with the master's map. This is where you go all around World Showcase to find Figment and then you come back and get yourself a prize. Uh, depending on when you're watching this video, uh, I will be doing it Saturday, uh, January 9th at 3 o'clock p.m. live. If you miss it, you can go back and watch that live. Watch me find Figment and get myself a prize. Let's see what the prizes are this year. So these are the prizes you can win if you play the Figment game. You got a little paper Mickey, a little paper Donald, a little paper Chip and Dale, a Figment, and a uh, Spaceship Earth. Very cool. And as we keep walking toward where we began, here is another festival market oh, booth. Same merchandise we saw earlier. And another art gallery. Oh my gosh, this is Marvel Fine art by Choice Collectibles. Right. These are really cool. Look at that one. Oh, look at that Iron Man one. Wow. These are pretty spectacular, Marvel fans. It's funny because you never would see Marvel in Disney World in Florida because Universal has the rights to Marvel in Florida, but that's pretty cool to get your little Disney Marvel fix. Oh, this is interesting. This is Rinse Bath and Body Co. There's uh, uh, bath products and uh, chapsticks and it looks like beer oil, beard oil, uh, body sprays, hand sanitizer. Ooh, Peppo foot. <laughs> That's super cool. My dudes, we have made it to the final booth of the Festival of the Arts. It is the Decadent Delights booth. And here you can get that raspberry or lemon soft serve ice cream, plus lots of different beers and a beer flight. Yes, the flights are back. All right, I did want to end the day on a cocktail, and I wasn't too interested in that last booth, so I came back and decided World Showplace to the Painter's Palette, and I want to get the Rusty Nail, the Frozen Rusty Nail cocktail, because I hear there's a chocolate Rusty Nail in it, and that sounds pretty cool. Okay, you guys, as the piano player plays, I'm going to enjoy this. The, so this is a chocolate nail the has the rusty nail and it's made with bourbon and tea so this is going to be super cool i'm sure whoa that bourbon first hits you but then there's like so much nice smoky flavor this is delicious oh my Wow, I was gonna say for $15, this better be a spectacular cocktail. And honestly, this is really delicious. I got to try it with the chocolate nail. Wow, this is a great drink. I know this is like, besides the, I only got the chocolate flight drinks, but this was the way to go, 100. I love this. So this was at uh, Painter's Palette in the World Showplace. Cheers to you. This was a great festival. My dudes, what a fantastic first day here at Epcot's Festival of the Arts 2021. I had an amazing, amazing time. This festival is so cool. I love all the artwork, the chalk art, the paint by numbers, the photo ops, the food is so beautiful and so delicious. There's just so much entertainment considering what's been going on and you know, you know, everything has been cut, but they did like as much, much as they could and I thought it was all so great. Um, I And also it's just so beautiful out and I think if anyone were to ask me if I were to go to one Epcot festival, uh, what would I, you know, what would I recommend to them? I think I would say Festival of the Arts. I, I think this might be my favorite, favorite festival, especially in normal times when you have um, the Broadway stars coming back, you know, people from my hometown. It's awesome. Uh, I can't wait for it to be fully back next year, but I had an amazing time today. I hope you guys enjoyed following along as well. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not, and hit your bell notification so you don't miss anything that goes on this channel. And follow me on Instagram at Magical Hijinx. And until next time, my dudes, I hope you guys get into some hijinks very, very soon. Have a bye.